Naturally, when you think of the richest people on Earth, your mind would jump to the likes of Mark Zuckerberg, Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, and Jeff Bezos. However, in this video, we went all the way back to find out who is the richest man that ever lived on Earth by net worth. You'll be left to compare these men's riches to our contemporary most affluent. Fasten your seatbelt and stay put as we present to you the 15 richest men that ever lived on Earth. Let's jump in. Henry Ford If you are a massive fan of American business history, Henry Ford would be a familiar name to your ear. Ford was the founder of the Ford Motor Company and also bringing automobiles to common people. He was no doubt able to put together a whopping net worth estimated to be a little under $200 billion. He was also an innovator in business and industry, introducing higher wages for his employees and developing the assembly line's notion. Muammar Gaddafi Most bookworms are likely conversant with Muammar Gaddafi, the recently overthrown and deceased ruler of the northern African country of Libya. Gaddafi is claimed to have controlled an enormous fortune of over $200 billion accumulated during his 42-year rule over Libya. A troublesome and highly scandalous politician and ruler, Muammar were like nobody's business overthrown in 2011 during the civil war in Libya when he was hauled into the streets and executed by revolutionaries. Nikolai Alexandrovich Romanov Nikolai Alexandrovich Romanov, known as Tsar Nicholas II, amassed $300 billion worth of wealth in his tenure. Nicholas II may probably be more known for being the last emperor of Russia before the country buckled during the Russian Revolution. Both he and his family were, in the end, executed in 1918. Remarkably, Tsar Nicholas became a saint documented by the Russian Orthodox Church and is known as the wealthiest saint in human history. Andrew Carnegie Carnegie, an extraordinarily wealthy and powerful industrialist, came to eminence during the mid-1800s due to the steel industry in Scotland. Andrew was born to an impoverished family that later entered the United States in the late 1840s. After productively investing in many projects, Carnegie founded the U.S. Steel Corps. This made him most of his $310 billion fortune. John D. Rockefeller The Rockefeller name is profoundly deep-rooted in American history. John D. Rockefeller's $340 billion fortune still stands today as virtually the biggest the world has ever seen. John D. was born in 1839 in New York and later grew to prominence over his lifetime as the co-founder of Standard Oil. As one of the rioters for energy and petroleum industries, John D. is also well known for his benevolence. He founded two colleges during his lifetime, the Rockefeller University and the University of Chicago. Jeff Bezos Jeff Bezos is probably the most common name on this list since he has become a household name. His unique business abilities got the Amazon CEO investing in billion-dollar ventures that have left him currently at the peak of things. With a net worth of over $175.3 billion, Bezos is currently blowing the minds of many. Nonetheless, on our list for today, he is number 15, and you're about to find out why this is possible. Alan Rufus The Count of Brittany, Alan Rufus, is famous for being the companion of William the Conqueror. Due to his position in society, he was able to amass a considerable fortune during his lifetime. As funny as it sounds, it is apparent going to war with William was a profitable decision after all for Alan. He was given about 250,000 acres of land in England, which at the time had an estimated value of about $178.65 billion. Allen had a net worth of about £11,000 and $15,000 back when he died in 1093. This amount is around 7% of the GDP of England at the time. King Solomon of Israel King Solomon reigned from 970 BC to 931 BC, according to the Bible. His era has been termed as the era of incomparable prosperity due to the wisdom which was bestowed upon him by God during his reign over Israel. He controlled the movement of goods through several trade routes of the territory and made an operational tax system for the goods. 
Every year during his 39-year reign, he received 25 tons of gold, and much more since people loved his wisdom. This amount of gold would be worth billions of dollars today, along with his business, taxes, and trade income. His fortune would exceed more than $3 trillion in today's money. Augustus Caesar Caesar was the founder of the Roman participant and the first emperor of the Roman Empire. As a founder, he left a legacy as one of the most operational and divisive leaders of all time. He governed an enormous empire that spread across most of what the world knows today as Asia's territories in Europe. Caesar boasted a personal fortune, which was roughly about 25 to 30 percent of the empire's economy. It was debated that most of his wealth came from inheritance. When his wealth is compared in today's economic situations, it will make a rough estimation of about $4.7 trillion. To further add to this, many economists revealed that Augustus owned the entirety of Egypt at one time. Sadly, his fortune did not last long, and this was due to the military failures and poor economic performance during his final years. Emperor Shenzong of Song A long time ago, the richest man to ever walk the face of the earth was Emperor Shenzong. This emperor ruled China from 1067 to 1085 and made the empire one of the world's most economically successful empires. Shenzong reigned during the epoch, which is today marked as peaceful, prosperous, and with principal abundance. Emperor Shenzong controlled around 30% of the total global GDP, which would be a rough estimate of over $30 trillion today. Although he was infamous for his stringent tax policies, those powerful policies attested to be successful economic decisions as it elevated the living standards, causing a prosperous era. William the Conqueror William the Conqueror's wealth has been appraised to be between $209 billion and $229 billion. Immensely famous for becoming the first Norman King of England, William the Conqueror ruled from 1066 until 1087. He led the last widespread attack on England, becoming a king after setting out to overthrow one. He was also so-called William the Bastard, and is thought to have been a progeny of Viking invaders from years before, which elucidates where he got his raiding ability. Mansa Musa Mansa Musa, or Musa I of Mali, was the reigning emperor of the Mali Empire. He commanded a mind-blowing fortune of about $400 billion. This net worth is three times more than the current richest person in the world. Musa was born in 1280 and died in 1337 as a fervent Muslim. He constructed numerous mosques and educational centers across Africa. Mir Osman Ali Khan There is a great chance you may never have heard of Mir Osman Ali Khan, but he was no doubt one of the richest people the world has ever known. As head of state for Hyderabad State in India, Ali Khan grew his riches to an estimation of $230 billion. He became Nizam of Hyderabad after his father's death in 1911 and proceeded to rule for 37 years, supervising the expansion of electricity, education, and railroads in the region. He passed away in 1967 and reportedly had about 149 children. Genghis Khan Genghis Khan was an infamous military leader, known as one of the greatest of all time. He captured over 12 million square miles of land that also spread to Asia and Europe's vast swaths. This territory is now worth more than a trillion dollars at the very least. All these successful invasions enhanced his fortune. Notwithstanding his great power, he never accumulated wealth and the soldiers under his command were forbidden from taking items for personal gain. After every conquest, all the things were taken to the office workers, and they were equally shared among the soldiers and their families. Khan's prosperity was the key to his influence. Nevertheless, he never built a palace, tomb, temple, or even a house during his days. Akbar I Akbar the first greatest emperor of the Mughal dynasty was well known for his lavish lifestyle and funding of arts. 
he dominated hundreds of thousands of territories and reigned as one of the ultimate Mughal emperors over the subcontinent. He governed the empire with wealth, which accounted for 25% of the global GDP. This would easily convert to about a staggering $21 trillion today. During his reign, the Mughal Empire tripled in size and wealth. He also created operational, social, and political reforms that generated a powerful army under his command. So, there you have it. The 15 richest men that ever lived on Earth. If there are names that are not on this list, kindly share your observations and suggestions in the comments section below. If this video was insightful, don't forget to like this video. Please, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and kindly click on the bell button to be notified whenever we upload videos like this one. And I will see you in the next video.